All right, so this is going to be a little bit different than my other videos in that instead of making a big edited video about how to do something, I'm just going to kind of show you how to do it live. And I hope you guys find this helpful. We're going to be talking about half flipping. And my goal here is to give you some tools to basically get more consistent with half flipping. Because I know a lot of people, this is just one of those skills that they know how to do it, but when it comes time in a game to perform it, they screw it up. And that's probably because they haven't committed it to muscle memory. They know how to do the mechanic and they can do it in free play. But when it comes time to do it in a game, uh, because they don't actually completely know it, they fail to do it. And this can be the difference between you know winning or losing a game sometimes. So hopefully you find this video helpful. Um, as always, make sure to subscribe if you like this kind of stuff. Okay, so on to the mechanic. Now, half flipping is basically the fastest way to get your car from heading this way to this way. Now, in games, you you just you don't have time often to turn all the way around, although that's a pretty good move if you can do that. It's just basically drifting. Uh, but often that's just not enough. You need to get back quicker. And so half flipping is a way to do that. And so what it is is you basically cancel your backflip. You cancel your backflip by backflipping and then pulling the analog stick forwards really quickly in the middle of your half flip or in the middle of your backflip. So you do this and, and you know the first step to learning a half flip is just doing this over and over again. And there's a bunch of videos on how to actually half flip, which isn't really my main purpose here. But the one thing I want to show you is that a lot of people, when they half flip, they use the arrow button and then uh, hit the analog stick left or right. And what I've done is I've went in, and a lot of people have done this, is I've rebound arrow right to X, or to, you know, it can be to any button on your controller, whatever you have open. And it could be arrow right or arrow left. And I don't even use arrow when I'm half flipping. I just use this button. So all my half flip is, is a canceled backflip, and then I hit X. That's it. I don't even have my finger on L1 because it has nothing to do with my half flip. And I think this is the fastest way to half flip. Um, so I, I recommend doing that. Regardless, though, you can do it the other way. It's not going to make a huge difference if you already know how to do it that way. I, if you're struggling, though, like this really helped me when I did this. So. I'm going to show you a couple drills to get better at half flips. And the first drill is you basically go all the way down the field half flipping. And so what you do is you do a forwards half flip and you cancel it. And if you don't know how to do that, it's basically just the opposite of a backwards half flip. You just cancel your forward flip and then hit air roll. Um, so you go all the way down the field doing a forwards half flip and then a backwards half flip. So you go down the field going like this. Uh, and then I screwed it up, of course. Yeah, and that's the thing. It's kind of hard. It sort of shows you um, where your weaknesses are. Mine is everywhere, apparently. There we go. Now I got it. All right, let's see if I can just go all the way down the field. Um, so that's basically that. You just sort of half flip down the field, and it's kind of fun. Kind of a cool thing to know how to do. Um... Not really necessarily all that useful, but it does help get the mechanic um, committed to your muscle memory. Now, the other thing is a is what I call a 180 half flip. So this is where you're traveling forwards. And by the way, you'll never use either of these things in a game. You definitely won't use this in a game unless you're just sort of celebrating, which is where I actually first saw it. What you do is you do a 180 in the air and then half flip. And this really helps you get that second part of it down, that canceled back flip but mainly the air roll part of it. So just try those two things and see if that helps you, you know, get it down more. Okay, so the last thing I wanna show you is how to get better at half flipping in a game. So what we're gonna actually do is just go into an unranked game and you know, you can do whatever mode you want. You can do 3v3 or 2v2 or even 1v1. Um, I just chose 2v2. And what we're gonna do is basically just half flip the entire game. Um, yeah. All right. So what you're going to try to do is set yourself up in situations where you would need to half flip normally in a game. So basically I'm just going to kind of let the opponent hit it over my head. So I'm going to just get myself out of position, you know, in a place I shouldn't be like say, right now, oh, they're probably going to score. 
um, like say right over here, like I'm too far under the ball, oh, I need to half flip. And you just sort of do that to get yourself back. All right, so I'm gonna try to do this again. This is really, it's like so against all of your instincts. So it's actually really hard to do, but you just gotta get yourself out of position and then half flip back. It's really that simple. You can even do some little fake half flips around if you want while you're playing. All right, I'm gonna get myself out of position. Oh no, I need to half flip back. Yeah, so that's basically that. Um, and it really helps. Because like, as you can see, I'm really not that great at half flipping in a game because I haven't done this a whole lot. But this is a good way to get the mechanic down. Okay, I hope you guys found this video helpful. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or something else you want to add in the comments. Also, if you like these kinds of videos, make sure to subscribe because I usually try to put one of them out each week. So thanks for watching. See you next time.